Hello guys and welcome to our channel RTFI Pro. Today's topic that we will be discussing is the discrepancy between imperial and metric units when it comes to ASME B313 normal and category M fluid service for both the rounded indication criteria as well as IQI selection. First I will go over the discrepancy for IQI selection and then I will go over the discrepancy for rounded indications. For IQI selection, the difference between metric and imperial is as follows, basically. With ASME, there can be differences in IQI selection, depending if we're using metric or imperial reinforcement. This is mainly due to the reinforcement not being equal between both units. When we choose a unit, it is required to choose either metric or imperial for the material thickness that we're using. When the material thickness unit is chosen, it is required to use the reinforcement for that specific unit. When choosing between inches or millimeters, you must follow the code to that unit chosen. This can be verified through interpretation 9-04 in accordance with ASME B313 Table 341.3.2a may heights of reinforcement and internal protrusion be added together in determining contraminer requirements for radiographing girth wells. When asked the question, the reply was yes. For 4 inch outside diameter pipe, for imperial the wall thickness is 0.237 inch and when we use the metric it's 6.02 millimeters. IQI is based on the total wall thickness plus the total reinforcement. The reinforcement now for the imperial is 0.125 inch and 6 millimeters when we're using metric. So now we go to the total thickness and with the total thickness for the imperial is 0.362 inch and when metric is 12.02 millimeters. We know it's a number 5 wire for imperial and a number 6 wire for metric. We know these reinforcements because if you look down on the actual table 341.3.2 that welds that are equal to or less than 6 millimeters or 1 quarter inch as in this example 4 inch standard it's 0.237 inch we know that the re maximum reinforcement that we can use is 1 16th of an inch so that's 1 16th of an inch on the root and that's 1 16th inch on the cap which would be 0.125 in total as we're using both crown and root as is indicated in interpretation 9-04 now when the weld is greater than 6 millimeters as is indicated here in metric because it's 6.02 millimeters the, the material thickness will be 3 millimeters for both crown and root so that gives us the 6 millimeters now we're going to go and show you from ASME section 5 article 2 how we derived these IQI's that we're using for 4 inch in metric and millimeters. So I already discussed that number 5 wire is chosen for inches. Now we know that it's 0.362 inch in total thickness. So when you go to ASME 5 article 2 for materials up to 375 inch thick you're allowed a 5 wire for film side exposure. Now we see now the discrepancy for metric where a six wire is required because for wall thickness over 9.5 to 12.7 millimeters you are allowed a six wire for metric here in the four inch standard the wall thickness is 12.02 millimeters now I'm going to discuss the discrepancy between ASME B313 normal and category M fluid service.
for rounded indications. ASME B313 normal for welds greater than one quarter inch or six millimeters, rounded indications are to be multiplied by 1.5 for maximum rounded indication tolerances. The discrepancy exists because the units of a quarter inch and six millimeters are not equal as one quarter inch is 6.35 millimeters when converted to millimeters. For example, we can verify this when using the four inch standard where the metric version has a different allowance tolerance than the imperial unit. As shown in table 20.6, rounded indications will have a 50% increase for a four inch standard weld due to the wall thickness being slightly greater than six millimeters. It is important to use the same unit selected when using imperial or metric for determining limits for rounded indications as you must use the unit the material thickness is expressed in. We know this because of interpretation 8-1-01-144. Is it allowed to use the stated metric conversion for code limits limits expressed as one quarter inch six millimeters in place of US customary values? Reply, no. See units in section eight, division one. To show you the difference between the two, we know the tolerance for metric is three millimeters and the tolerance for imperial is 0 0.079 inches. 0 0.079 inch converted to millimeters is equal to a two millimeter tolerance. This shows the three millimeter tolerance is greater than the 0 0.079 inch tolerance for Imperial. Well folks, this concludes our video for this week. RTFI Pro looks forward to seeing you next week in another video. Until then, work safe and expand your knowledge for an increased reliability of inspection.